Salponco. A ver en Salponco. A ver en Salponco. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Pasok na natin. Pasok na natin. Hindi, mamaya na. Kay Colonel tayo. Go. No, 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 no. Let's go, let's go. Okay, may I request everyone, everyone to please settle down as we are about to begin with the closing and awarding ceremonies. The having first presidential second drill competition. May I please settle down? And uh, in a little while, we will be announcing the winners. Kung sino ang ating mga champion at mga awardees for this competition.
Pag-isip pa sila ng eksistensya ng Indonesia. Okay, I think we're about to begin. May I request everyone to please settle down. May we invite our military VIPs to take their respective seats. As briefed a while ago by the Major Lasco, we have designated seats for the military and VIP civilians. May I also request uh, those personalities who are required to sit with the Mayor to please proceed in front right now for our awarding ceremony. Thank you, City of Manila. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. And it, of course, the uh, Mayor, your Mayor. Okay. May we invite all our military officers to please take their respective seats as we are about to begin with the awarding ceremonies. And the announcement, of course, of the winners of the first presidential silent drill competition. Okay, clear na yung ating stage, chat. Sa tingin ko, pwede na tayong umusad para sa ating uh, next part of our program. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to the first presidential silent drill competition. And welcome to the announcement of winners, also the awarding of Black Flower Judges. Ano chat? Pasalamatan man lang natin ulit ang ating mga Board of Judges. Maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga naging judges ng ating competition. Para sa kaalaman po ng lahat, we have seven schools and academies that competed today. The Philippine Navy Officers Candidate School, the Philippine Air Force Officers Candidate School, Philippine Army Officer Candidate School, the Philippine National Police Academy, Philippine Merchant Marine Academy, the Maritime Academy of Asia and the Pacific, and the Philippine Military Academy. All of these seven amazing silent trainers performed with all of us today. We would like to thank our judges, First, Lieutenant Colonel Emerson Flores, CHS. Salamat po. Lieutenant Colonel Verna D. Marie Familiar. Lieutenant Colonel Gerardo M. Habonaria. Lieutenant Colonel Josephine M. Mariano Merskort. Lieutenant Colonel Hilario B. Bilen, CHS. Lieutenant Colonel Diana C. Rivera, MSA Jax. Colonel Jessica Ann Margaret R. Laxon Hizon. Colonel Jose Santos Arcanandang VI, MNSA Philippine Air Force Reserve. Colonel Gregorio Marcelo de Azores, General Staff Corps, Medical Corps. Colonel Eric G. Gancinorena, Medical Corps. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. And of course, yung ating uh, Head of the Judges. Brigadier General Ferdinand M. Ferdinand, Armed Forces of the Philippines. Maraming salamat po sa lahat ng inyong suporta at sa inyong pag-judge ngayon. Ano siya? At syempre, excited na ako kasi nasa aking kamay niya. Hindi ba natin ang hindi ibigay ang award? Pwede si Hindi. Ang mag-award ko ay ang ating presidente. Oo! Oo! Grabe. Excited ako. So, may lang natin ang pwede ngayon lang. Pamaya pa. So let's start with giving the plans of our board of judges. Okay. So on your cue chat, ano kaya naman natin na thank you na ba tayo? Okay. Okay. We're ready. Ready na po tayo. At this juncture, as the first presidential satisfied competition ends, May we hear a closing remarks from no other than Mayor Francisco Isco Moreno Tomagoso, the city government of Manila. Let's give him a big round of applause.
That's right. I for one. I show father temporarily. Greater than executive order a few days ago. To create a PWG committee for us to be ready later on when everything starts. The government will still function by creating the so-called the Alamo of the city government of Manila in the eastern part of the city between Tesla City and Manila. We just created the executive order so that we can plan. We can plan to arrest such situation. We've learned our lesson from Yolanda. We've learned our lesson from Cotabato. We've learned our lessons from history. And I think the best thing to know or to learn about history is to listen and memorize what happened. Anong ginawang tama, anong ginawang balik, anong ginawang sapat, anong ginawang pula. From there on, we move on. And I think this endeavor today is a good start of making additional manpower better. This is clean individual. Knows how to follow orders. Know how to create camaraderie among each other and friendship and relationship. So the hard thing dito, lagi sana sa bumubo ng committee, lagi sana dito yung gagawin sa Manila because I want that avenue built of Manila students. Yan. Diyan ang minipagikita sa inyo. Sa susunod na taon, all you have to do is to press the button when and we are going to participate. So, sa lahat ng sumali, talagang ganyan, dalawa lang ang mangyayari sa ito. Isang nabalita at isang nakikibalita. So, to say, talagang ang kombinasyon may nanalo at may nanalo. But it's not that. It is about the participation. And especially if you participated in the first. Kasi may tatala na kayo sa kasaysayan. So, yung hindi nanalo, meron pang next year. Two years from now. Three years from now. And I believe we should continue this every year. We the city government support this idea, concept, and program. Kaya po sa ating mga bubo ng politik, huwag kayong magalala huwag kayong magalalawang isip, huwag kayong magalalang sasali kami. I want to join. We want to join. So, the President, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, thank you very much. To the men, the new uniform, the officers, thank you very much. To the committee, thank you very much. To the judges, thank you for your time. Thank you. Hey, how are you? And let me take this opportunity also to ask you. Sayang naman, nandito na kayo. Wala naman kayo magagawa kung naman kayo ako sa mikrofon. Hihingi na ako ng puro sa inyo. Look in front of you. That horizon. That view. That is the city of Manila. The capital of the country. The window of our country. The show window. We wanted to hit. We wanted to fix that. We are now left behind by our neighboring cities. They may have all the developments in our neighboring But no one can take away the city of Manila being the capital. Now, it is quite unfair for other cities.
RPS Group Commander, Brigadier General Seremia Mietra, and our Assistant Secretary, Presidential Management Staff, Sir Joy Bravo. Please join us here for the presentation of plans to our judges. As we call the judge's name, please visit in front to receive your plan. Thank you very much. We may we call on Lieutenant Colonel Joel Matako, CHS Reserve.
Thank you. 